The Airprox board has looked into two near misses in the last 16 months, one of which involved five jets and one of which involved two. And in the first instance, which was in August last year, they recommended that safety was considered in the way that in, in and out of the Machantleth loop. There are more than one way, one way in. And um, it, it's evident from the nature of the terrain that, that pilots just don't know about each other until really the very last moment. And uh, considering not just the, the value of these aircraft, but also that people live in this region, I, I think we, we do need to be considering the safety, both for the, for the pilots and for residents as well. And given that the Strategic Defence Review last week is talking about trebling the number of F-35s, what I've done is asked the um, Minister for Defence Personnel, Mark Lancaster, to confirm whether this will mean that there's more training undertaken in the Machantleth area. And if that's the case, really, I think um, we need to be looking at uh, a proper safety review. And um, research in Germany, which led back in 1990 to uh, low flying, flying below 1,000 feet to be back, in Germany, research indicated that people suffered, their blood pressure went up, and they became more and more sensitised. They didn't become used to it. They found the effects of low flying and the noise became worse and worse over time. So, bearing in mind that, of course, training has to be carried out, but these are not areas in which people don't live, and we've got to balance the needs of the Air Force alongside the needs of the residents. So... You accept that the training has to go ahead and this is a good place to do the training. What are you suggesting? Less of it or move it elsewhere? I think what, I've, what I'm looking for is actually a safety consideration, given that there have been these two near misses, as I said, in the last six, 16 months with very, very expensive pieces of equipment. And uh, there is a consideration, really, if it's dangerous for the pilots and the equipment. Well, there are people living in this area. There are children there. There are elderly people who really find the presence very noisy and very oppressive. So given that it has to be there, I think we have to look at an in the balance of interest between what the RAF need and what the residents themselves need as well. The MOD takes issue with the use of the word near misses, saying they, they call it uh, air proxies, which could effectively mean two planes sighting each other. And they say that calling them near misses is overhyping it. D do you, do you, are you sure they were really near misses or are they just, does that just make it sound more scary than it really is? Well, the Air Prox Board did recommend that there was a safety review after the one back in August last year, so I think they were taking it quite seriously. And there are concerns. You, you cannot see the nature of the terrain. You cannot see who will be coming from the other side of the hill until you get to where the valleys meet. And if that is the case and there is additional use here, well, it's not in anybody's interest for there to be an accident there in the future which, in which people's lives could be lost, people could be injured, millions of pounds of equipment could be destroyed. And, of course, this will particularly affect people in my constituency who are on the ground with this. And I would like to say as well, at the same time as it looks quite likely that the RAF will inc increase low-flying training in that area, they're also closing a training centre. So although we're prepared, to, or they're prepared to use the area for this practising, the actual investment that we had from the economy in local economy in the terms of jobs is being cut, which is somewhat ironic under the circumstances.